Welcome back. My name is Mark Castellius. We are Developing $4. We're here with Jonathan Mueller from the Mady Development Corporation. And we're just starting to get into some numbers here. We're going to conclude and find out basically how much money has been spent on the new Collier Centre. There's not a sign. There's nothing going on there. Just a quick review then, Jonathan. We, we went, the, the city issued an RFP process uh, approximately two years ago. You go through that. The, it was just a bot in August. But during that RFP process, approximately $100,000 was spent before it was even accepted. It was, in other words, you guys were, were playing cards saying, let's hope our, our drawings get accepted. Is that That's, right? Absolutely. Okay. And then we're now technically in the planning phase. Now, do you have an idea of how much numbers we're talking about? in terms? Because drawings are being submitted, right? We had a show on site planning, but do you have an idea of the numbers that we're, we're talking about here now? Yeah. Well, between, between the planning... Uh, Avenue and the sales which are sort of run, they're running concurrently right now we're yeah. doing our land use adjustments and we're getting ready to go to market uh, we'll, we'll be spending in the ballpark of five hundred thousand dollars in addition to that one hundred thousand that's already been spent before we've even sold the unit before we find out if what we're proposing uh, we'll sell in this market. So, so, so in this planning phase um, let me understand this correctly then we're submitting drawings and, and the city's commenting back saying change this change that and that process every time you submit something does that cost money absolutely yeah wow. i mean we're getting we're having studies completed by engineering firms traffic firms sure um and on the sales side we're finishing out a sales office we've hired a marketing firm we've hired a sales team um, we're putting together marketing material from floor plans to renderings to videos um and this is all money that we don't know if, you know, we, we still haven't sold the yeah, unit. Yeah, right. I mean, we, I, haven't, we, we haven't signed a lease. We, we haven't we, sold the we, unit. We were sitting on site. I didn't see a sign. I didn't see a shred of anything that's necessarily uh, happening. And yet, you can safely say you spent, what, $600,000 so far yep. on, on the Collier Center. Yep. So, um, now, in, in, in the stage of the drawings, are, are, are we at where, like, give me an idea when, is there going to be a shovel in the ground shortly? Do you have an idea when that's going to happen? Um, it, or projected? Yeah, we're we're looking at next next summer to start construction. Okay. Um, contingent upon sales, of course. Um, we have signed some of the retail leases, um, but we need to get the the, the, the pre sales on both the office and the residential side. Okay. And I mean, the market dictates what happens there. We we could sell that over the winter and start as planned, or we could be delayed a year. Um, and that six hundred thousand is now that much. Not much further, and I guess yep. you know, like like any any uh, there's there's an expense to it. There's interest payments, etc. But can you? Uh, is there any kind of qualification, or is there any kind of when you say, well, depending on sales, is there a threshold that needs to be reached in sales before the shovel technically goes in the ground? Yeah, I, th I think banks usually, depending on the market and the developer, will look for a minimum uh, sixty, typically around seventy percent sold. So we need sixty to seventy percent before we even get into the construction. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've spent $600,000 getting us to this. We now have a sale. I mean, well, we're sort of going down the road a bit. Yeah, we're, I would, we've spent six hundred dollars before we've sold the first unit. By the time we get to construction, we'll have spent well over a million dollars. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to try to wrap up here a little bit, Jonathan. But to say that, you know, six hundred. dollars um, and, and we just got it, then we just bought the land. And of course, the expense of the land is, 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 is in there. We got to pay taxes, we got to pay people, we got to do all that. And then to get us to the actual construction, you're saying another what million you said? Million dollars, yeah. So, so we're looking at $1.6 million before people can say, wow, there is going to be a site happening here. Right. And then this project is about a two year construction period. So it's really another two years after that until. Uh, we realize, hopefully, some sort of profit on the project. Which is going to probably be another show we're going to get to, but we're going to just take a quick wrap up now and summarize and say that the, the change of use to this land, though, even though the Maiti people are spending roughly 1.6 to where we are now, we're going to see, what, 600 people living there. We're going to see jobs. We're going to see, we're going to see tax revenues increases. So this multi-use from one 12,000 square foot building is now going to be changed into office towers, condos, parking lots, and it's going to be a great thing for the city of Barrie. My name is Mark Vasilius. I'd like to thank my guest, Jonathan Mueller from, from the Media Corporation. You can call me if you need any questions or concerns about investing in real estate. Take care. We'll see you next time.